Hey guys, Blaz here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video. This will probably be one of the only tutorial videos on my channel, just because it's not really something I usually do, or usually like to do. Uh, but I think this will help a lot of people in the community who have wanted this. Like, I've tried to get custom Optifine capes before, and, uh, you know, it wouldn't work. But so Optifine actually just brought out a f feature that you can add banners to your cape. At the moment, you can only use the templates that they allow you, um, or whatever. You can build your own completely customizable, but you only have a certain amount of options. I'm going to show you guys how to get to there. I'm going to put a link to it in the description, and I'm going to show you what to do once you get there. Um, but as you can see, I have a custom Optifine cape. I'm running a clean Optifine.jar right now. I'm not running 5zig or anything like that. I'm running clean Optifine, just straight up Optifine 1.7.5. And, uh, yeah, this is my cape. Um, so I just made it custom. Really wasn't hard to make. You just click some of the options, and uh, it gives you this. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this, because I didn't even know about this until I started seeing kids around with some custom capes, and I was using plain Optifine. And I was like, how do you guys have that? And uh, I figured it out on my own. And uh, just in case some of you are still not aware, I'm going to give this video to you guys so you guys can uh, get some custom capes. So, let's get into it. I'll be right back. Alright, so hey guys, uh, we're here at Optifine.net, and when you get here, you're going to click Cape. I just logged on so nobody got any of my information or anything like that. Um, you know, you can have my username. But uh, what you're going to do from here is right here where it says Select a New Cape Design, you're going to go to Banner, and uh, don't touch any of this stuff this stuff can all stay and right here it says banner generator so you're gonna wanna click that and uh, you'll see that it gives you this so you have a plain white cape this is your cape right here and uh, you can just put whatever you want on there you can stack them you know do whatever you want clear it if you wanna or you can click randomize and it will give you a random cape uh, whatever you wanna do uh, you might get some cool ones but usually they're pretty ugly with that so I just made my own, um, but yeah, that would look pretty nice right there without the X, clear all, and then make that black, and then make this white, that would look pretty nice right there, I might change mine to that, but yeah, that's how you do that, and then once you have it, uh, don't even worry about any of this stuff down here, uh, unless you wanted to... I'll just go right here. I mean, you can use that link too, but you're just going to control C it. You're going to come back here and where it says URL, control V it, and then just click, and you'll see there's the cape. Uh, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like right there. Don't touch any of this stuff, and you're going to click save, and then uh, if you are logged onto Minecraft, you're going to need to close your game and restart it to see it, and other players are going to have to do that as well to see it. Um, which is fine. I mean, it's not that much work. Um, so yeah, this is, at the moment, the only way to customize your Optifine cape. They'll probably come out with more to the point that you can add your own image and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, at the moment, this is the only way to do that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. And uh, I'm still going to put the link to this website in the description just in case you guys for some reason don't see this right here um, but yeah I hope this video was helpful to you guys and uh, enjoy your custom capes see you later